Hi right, guys, I got this problem here with this car here. It's my daughter's car here, the Toyota Camry, 05 Toyota Camry. Uh, this car is having a common problem that most uh, people be having sometimes with their cars. Very frustrating when we wake up in the morning or when you're simply trying to start your car to go somewhere and it doesn't want to start. It can be really frustrating. So, the problem that I'm having right now is, or my daughter's having, it won't start. And uh, I'm going to show you guys what it's doing. Let's go over here. you guys so when you have this problem you know what it is or you have an idea of what it might be if you can fix it yourself you can save yourself a lot of money okay key in the ignition turn it it won't do nothing it won't click it won't crank I like it this is lights on the dashboard Okay, so what you want to do first is you want to start from, um, you don't want to go expensive, so you want to go, you want to try the cheapest things first, okay? What you want to do first is, um, in this case I would check the battery, make sure we got enough power, because when your battery is low, it could do this too, so you want to check your battery, make sure you got enough juice. Okay. Um, it's low, that's probably why it's doing this. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn the lights on. Okay. Turn the headlights on. Then I'm gonna check the headlights. If the headlights are nice and strong or bright, then it's not the battery. If the battery is low and dim, I'm, I'm sorry, if the headlights are low and dim, it's um, it's it's probably going to be the battery. So let's go see and check the headlights. Having a problem. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> won't start. So I uh, kind of have an idea what it is. Yeah. Um, it might be the battery or the starter. Either one. Uh huh. So I'm checking to see which one is it. I got nice and bright lights here, so it might not be the battery. So as you can see guys, that was my neighbor talking to me by the way. Uh, as you can see the headlights are nice and bright. I got strong light here. Let me see. Yeah, the headlights are sun is hitting the headlights, so it's hard to see. Yeah. Okay, yeah, you'll see the lights are about lights seem to be nice and bright. So, check the battery is good. Let me check the terminals. Next thing you want to check is the terminals to make sure no terminals are loose. These are tight, nice and tight. There's no corrosion around the tower on the um, around the uh, battery poles. No corrosion there, nice and tight. So not the battery. Okay. Next step I want to check is the starter, and the way we want to do that is by tapping it. You hit the starter, if you can somehow reach it, um, you know, just tap on it, and uh, it should, uh, and if it starts after that, then your starter is bad. So the way I'm going to do this, because these cars have a starter on top of the engine, I don't know if you guys can see it. It's below where the air filter is, right below that. So I'm going to try to show you guys where it's at. And that's the starter. That's the starter, right below the air filter. So what I'm going to 
do is I'm gonna take this pole here, this little piece of uh, my pole, this little metal here, with a hammer. Kinda see what I'm doing. I'm using this to reach the starter down there. Take this hammer and kind of sap it. In fact, I'm gonna turn it around so I can damage it, so I can hit it with the rubber part. Okay. Gonna tap it a little bit. Starts. Sorry, this phone is moving a lot. Okay, let's try it again. Okay. Still won't do it. Still won't start. That's usually the uh, problem when this happens. If the battery is bad, if the battery is not bad, uh, then the next step would be to check the starter, and that uh, that mo most in most cases it is it will be the starter. So I'm gonna go ahead and just uh, go ahead and just replace the starter and uh, see what happens after this. Okay. Um, all right, guys. I went on and. Uh, I'm about to take the starter off. As you can see, I took everything apart already. Um, I couldn't hold my phone while I was doing this, so I went on and just uh, took everything apart. And I'm going to tell you guys what I did. Is that I uh, removed the battery. I removed the air filter housing. And uh, a few plastics around it. I took all that off just to get to the starter. do is I'm gonna remove this wire right here take that nut off take the wire off remove that bolt right there this is bolt right there you guys can see it this that bolt right there right behind it right there. remove that to get the start off and it should come right off okay okay guys I went and took off the starter now with the help of this nice gentleman neighbor here to help me. Hi, Martin. <laughs> this guy's really good with cars. So, starter went right there. That's where it goes. And uh, this is what the starter looked like. This is what the starter looked like. And the problem is going to be right here. There's no electrical current going through here anymore because this is burned out most likely. But the grindings look good. Here it can still be a bit on. So we're gonna go ahead and just replace the whole starter. And there is the new starter right there that we are gonna replace. Brand new starter, and we're gonna go ahead and replace it. Okay. Alright guys, as you can see, uh, we went on and reassembled everything. We put the uh, air filter housing back on, the battery, and connected these little vacuum hoses, plugs. And uh, there's a, a new starter right there. Anyways, okay. Now, connect to the battery, and we're gonna see if it starts now. So, hello. Hi. <laughs> gonna see if it starts. You ready to start it? Ready to fire it up? There we go. There we go. It started up right up. Are you happy? Yeah. You got it. Okay, and here it is to start it, and uh, there you go. Well, 
problem solved. Right. There you have it. Have you looking? Have you better problem There you have it. Now you guys know what the possibilities may be next time your car doesn't want to start. Okay. So, thanks for watching this video, and hopefully this video will be helpful to many of you out there uh, when you have this problem. Like I said, I know it's very frustrating when you get in your car and you want to start it because you're in a hurry to go somewhere and it won't start. It can be very, very frustrating. Okay. Uh, thank you guys for watching again. Bye-bye.